basically nobody's off my radar at this point. These eight Florida voters we gathered at Lynn University in Boca Raton are taking their time committing to a candidate. Republican Sharon Forbes voted for Donald Trump in 2016. So far I'm sticking with Trump. I'm not stuck on a Republican candidate, but as of right now, I don't really see anybody on the Democratic side. Except maybe, she says, Bernie Sanders. He's a very smart man. He's been in Washington for years, but he's got good friends on both sides of the aisle. Independent but, um, voter Chris really Davey did. supported Trump in 2016, but now he's leaning towards Joe Biden. Why are you considering not voting for Trump this time around? It's just, it's too much. He's too erratic. Every day, the nonstop tweets, what he's done on issues, especially with health care, um, going after the Affordable Care Act now in court. Republican Robert Goldberg may vote Trump again. You've also said that you're willing to listen to other candidates, maybe even upgrade. Um, what are you looking to hear from another candidate that would sway you? They're... Um accomplishments, what they really said they were going to do and they have done. Two in our group are leaning Biden. I like Biden for all his experience and maturity. Somebody tell me why they're not sold on Joe Biden. It's kind of a replay. The war to me isn't only with Trump, it's with the system that hasn't been working. Democrat Bianca Navarro likes Bernie Sanders. He's extremely progressive. You have a moderate candidate, they're going to ask for a slice of something to get done, we're gonna end up with crumbs. I feel that Bernie Sanders is the candidate that's really gonna ask for the whole cake. This independent voter is also I, leaning uh, Sanders. He's the only candidate that actually speaks to the right. What is it about Donald Trump that you don't like? I think he's nuts for one thing. I need somebody that's gonna unify this nation. Yes, I've got three small children that are biracial in this nation. That's why Erica McDermott, an independent, is considering Elizabeth Warren. That's really important to back a candidate that understands that we are unequally distributing the wealth majorly in this nation. I just worry about some of the stuff that's coming up with her, whether it be the uh, American Indian heritage um, up in Massachusetts on the Texas Bar Association. Jim, let me ask you, because you, 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 I know you like Biden, but is there anybody else that, that you're considering? Amy Klobuchar, even though she's not polling well right now, the fact is she's another moderate, and she's sort of Biden without the baggage, so to speak. If, for example, Biden were to falter because he kept running off at the mouth, uh, she, might, she might be a possibility. Meantime, voters in this group leaning Trump want to be really sure before they commit to him again. What is it about Donald Trump that you're not 100% on? He makes me nervous every time he speaks. <laughs> Full of himself. I mean, I wish he was less showman and more presidential. We all wish that. 